Welcome back to the Designing for Today blog series, where we look at the SOLIDWORKS Cloud offer and all the tools at your disposal when using it. My name is Sawyer Guerra, and I'm an Application Solution Consultant here at TriMac. And today I'm going to show you the Manufacturing Definition Creator role, but more specifically the XDefine app, so we can create any relevant PMI or manufacturing information and put it down to a 2D drawing right here on the platform. Looking at my tasks, I have one to create the PMI and use XDefine. When I open up this task, I see it's urgent, so I might want to start working on it right now, and I can see the part that I want to use. And fortunately for me is I can open this up directly inside of XDefine, so I don't have to you know, search for it later. With the model open in XDefine, I can start to define my 3D views, any annotations that I need to put on there, and then push it down to a 2D drawing. Conveniently for us as well, is I can almost work left to right down in my command manager down at the bottom to accomplish this. So I'm gonna start off with some orthogonal views, starting with the front view, moving to my right view, and then finishing with my top to get that those standard three views that we work with. I can see that they're being added to my tree on the left and I can start to define my dimensions. So I can grab my smart dimension tool and then pick entities in my model to define those dimensions for that. And I'm going to go through and add in the relevant dimensions I want on this view as well as the other ones. Now that I have my relevant dimensions called out on my 3D views, I might want to add a little bit more information. Things like tolerancing for specific dimensions, maybe my datums, and even a geometric tolerance frame. And I can do all of that with the XDefine app. So I'm going to start off, and I'm going to just describe my A and my B datum planes. Now that I have these called out, I might want to use my geometric tolerance command. And I'm going to call out for this counterboard hole. I can specify what type I want, the value, what condition we're looking for. In this case, I'll use the maximum material condition, and then my references for this geometric tolerance. And that's going to add in that control frame right to my 3D view that I can use in my 2D drawing later. I have other commands down here to add notes or surface finishes, but what I want to talk about is the tolerancing for dimensions. So if I specify a dimension, I can define what precision I'd like that to be, what tolerance type that I want. So we can say three plus or minus one, two, or you know, minus 0.05. And that's gonna be added to that dimension of my drawing. And I can go around and define that for the other ones as well. Now from here, we have our 3D views created. We can push these directly to our 2D drawing. So I'm going to start off by creating a sheet. We can give it a specific name. We have standard formats or custom sizes. I'm just going to go with an A0 and create that drawing sheet. So I mean, this is a pretty big piece of paper that we're working with, um, but we can just easily drag in our front view, our right view, and then our top view. Now if these look a little bit small, it's no worry because we can always scale those up to better fill out our page. With those all scaled up, 
I could add additional views, add any additional information I'd like, but I just want to go over here and I can push this to a 2D. Now with my 2D output, I can either do an MBD, meaning I can take those 3D views I created, or I can just use the 2D drawing sheets that I've been working with. These can be stored on a 3D drive or a file on our disk. And I can give it a name and export this out. It's gonna create a nice PDF for me that I can share with team members, email directly, however I want to share it. I have a, a printout that I can use to manufacture this.